Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be doing a little experiment to see which green is going to be the best for our Auric War Clan. I recently painted Wallop de Skull from Headcracker's Mad Mob, the Underworld's Warband, but he came out a little bit too bright. That green was a little bit vibrant for my liking. I liked how the yellow came through underneath, and I did like a base coat of Wraithbone followed by a layer of Plague Bearer Flesh and then a mixture of Contrast Medium and Contrast Orc Flesh over the top of that. And the idea was to bring out some yellow highlights but keep with that nice deep green. So I really want to get this skin a little bit darker and just uh, not so bright. And so in this video we're going to look at the different contrast paints I've got and I've got all the ones from the range here and we'll go through each one over some different layers and we'll see what effects we can get and I've watched some great videos one by the painting coach where he used the plague bearer flesh followed by a green shade and that worked perfectly it looked so great so I'm going to try and recreate that as close as I can I've also watched another one another video by Orion's belt miniatures and she did a great job doing three different ways to paint your oryx and they were like with quite dark skin which was really cool but that was more like the traditional method but i want to stick to contrast paints so in this video we'll look at all the contrast paints over the different layers and see what color we think will be best so for this little experiment i took four strips of card and i cut them to equal lengths and then divided them up into five sections and then you can see here the strip at the top is completely coated with wraith bone then the next one was wraith bone with plague bearer flesh contrast over the top then i did a wraith bone with an agrax earth shade over that and then the fourth one right at the bottom was a mix of one part medium olive vallejo paint with two parts vallejo white and i wanted to just see what would happen if we did a green undercoat instead of the usual wraith bone then at the top I've listed all the different green contrast paints and starting with the orc flesh I just gave a coat of orc flesh over every one of the cards and that's going to give us a good idea of how it works in just one neat application. Then I continued to do that with all the other green contrast paints and I started it off with the Creed camo and already this was looking a lot better. Then I went on to the Warp Lightning the Militarum green, and finally the Dark Angels green. Once I'd done that for all the colours and all the different strips of card, I moved on with the contrast medium, and I took two parts contrast medium to one part green paint, and then I went through the same process again, putting it next to each of the paints I'd already covered. This then gave us a nice result, so we could have a real good look at the different colours and how those greens interacted with either a shade, an olive or wraithbone base, or over that nice plague bearer flesh. And here we go, so now we've all these paints have dried, we've got all the different colours laid out. So this was the original one I went with, it was the orc flesh over wraith bone and plague bearer flesh. And you can see it's quite vibrant. It looks a lot more vibrant on the model actually, um, this card seems to have dulled it down. So this probably wasn't the best material to try this with, I should have used some kind of plastic really. Um, but this one was the one that I wanted to kind of change. And you can see over the Agrax, that's dirtied it up, but none of these have really worked for me. And uh, interestingly, on this Vallejo paint with that mix of olive and white, the contrast paints have gone down really nicely and really even. So you can see here, it looks really scruffy. And I didn't do anything different. It was the same amount of paint. But on this Vallejo, we seem to have got a nice cover. So that's pretty interesting. And I wouldn't mind trying to base some of my miniatures with some Vallejo paint and um, just see if they come out any different. But here we go, so let's have a look. So for me, as soon as I put this Creed camo over the Wraithbone and Plague Bearer flesh, I was like, yep, yeah, that's the colour I'm looking for. It's a little bit dirtier, a little bit more olive, and uh, but it's not too dark. We're getting darker here as we go along. But this looks just about right. Militarum Green's pretty close as well, so I think that would work really well. But this looks a lot closer to that video I saw by the painting coach. So I think this is the one I'm going to be trying out. But I think this was a good experiment to have a look at how the different colours interact with the different um, primers and undercoats and layering up two contrast paints over each other like this is a good way to go. And so this one here is the two parts medium to one part orc flesh and that's going to go over wraith bone and a coat of plague bearer flesh. 
So you can see here, just putting one neat coat of pure orc flesh is just going to completely cover up that lighter color underneath. And with the contrast paints, whenever you use a darker paint over a lighter paint, you just kill it completely. But using that medium, that contrast medium, really changes it. And we're going to get some of that Plague Bearer flesh coming through as a sneaky little highlight. So I'm going to try this technique now on the other three miniatures from Headcracker's Mad Mob. And we'll see how it comes out when it's applied to the actual miniatures themselves. So come and check out that video coming real soon where I'll be painting one more of Headcracker's Mad Mob. I've already painted Wallop to Skull, so you can check out that video on the channel. And I'll put links in the description to, below to all the paints I used in that video and also in this video here. So you can get all those green paints if you'd like to. And there'll be affiliate links to Element Games, but they don't cost you anything extra. In fact, you can save up to 20% on all your game products there. And for every sale made for an affiliate link, I get a small commission and that helps me do loads more videos like this and develop the channel. And I'm really grateful for that support. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a good idea of how these different greens come out with the different paints. I think if I did this again, I'd do it over some kind of plastic for sure. I think the card didn't work all that well. The texture wasn't great, um, but it still gave me a good idea and I was able to pick out the color I wanted to use. So hopefully it does help you a little bit. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.